Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I filmed a video, but I'm going to be filming my skincare routine for you because it's changed a little bit since I filmed my last one. I think it was about a year ago now. So um, yeah, so I wanted to kind of give you guys an update as to what I've been using and loving in my routine. So every morning and night I use my Dr. Gross um, all-in-one cleanser with toner. And I love this so much. It is a lotion cleanser, so you use it on dry skin. And you just kind of massage it in and then rinse it off with water. And it gets off every trace of makeup, dirt, oil, you name it. And it doesn't give you that dry, tight feeling. And I'm a combination um, skin type, so I do get... I, I can get clogged pores and I am a little bit oily in the T-zone and um, this does not make you more oily at all. Um, I find that it actually helps to really balance the skin. So I absolutely love that. And I know I mentioned it in one of my favorites videos, so, um, or maybe it was an empty video. I don't remember, but um, I've purchased this a few times and I'll continue to purchase it because I love it. <clears throat> and I, of course, I have a Clarisonic Mia. This is just the regular Mia with the one speed. And I use this mostly at night um, because I find that I don't really need to do a super deep clean in the morning if I already took off all my makeup and everything at night. So I just use my fingers in the morning and then um, at night in the shower or something, I'll do a deep clean with my Clarisonic. And I use a couple different serums and um, Two of them are from Dr. Gross and one is by La Roche-Posay and the La Roche-Posay I use every morning. So I don't use this one at night. This is the Effaclar K. Um, I've mentioned this in several videos. I think it was, might have even been in my last skincare video. I love this stuff. Um, it is a daily renovating anti-relapse salicylic acid acne treatment. Now they kind of label this as a moisturizer. Um, I don't know who could you know, you just use this by itself. Not that it's drying, it's not drying at all, but it's just not hydrating. Um, so it does have salicylic acid in it, 1.5%. Um, it's not a spot treatment, it's kind of a serum that you use all over, and what it does is it just helps to keep the skin um, clear, keep the pores clear, and, the, and it has vitamin K in it, so it actually helps to lighten post-blemish marks. I'm so fair, so if I get a blemish, it's red for like a month. And um, this just really helps to speed up that recovery and it really just helps keep, you know, blackheads away and just those little, I get just kind of congestion in my T-zone so it really just helps keep that clear. So I love that. The other two serums I use by Dr. Gross are, um, I use these at night and it's his retinol, I'm sorry, ferulic acid and retinol brightening solution. And that's this here. And then I also use, this is a serum oil, and it says Active Vitamin D Serum Oil. And what these products do, this one is um, a really kind of, it's not oily at all, it's not greasy. Um, they all come with little droppers like this. And they come in this dark glass because the retinol in it, um, it is actually sensitive to light. So um, it's really nice to keep them in these dark glasses because sometimes if they come in, you know, a clear glass, clear bottle, um, they're exposed to light and then the retinol is compromised. So um, yeah, this is really a nice product. It actually helps with fine lines, wrinkles, unevenness of skin tone, blemishes, you name it. So it kind of just does everything. Um, I put this on um, before the, the oil and I put it on all over my face. I just use one dropper full. And I only use this one at night because I use the La Roche-Posay in the morning and I don't want to use too many products at once. Um, this, when I first started using it, I did notice a little bit of purging in the skin, but that cleared right up. And then ever since then, you know, no breakouts from this. And I love it. It actually helps to, if you do get a breakout, it helps it to heal a lot faster. And I do notice a more even skin tone, less blackheads, things like that. And I just like the idea that I'm actually preventing, you know, the fine lines and wrinkles because, you know, everybody knows retinol is like the number one, you know, anti-aging product that you can use. But unfortunately, the prescription strength just is um, too sensitive for it. It makes my skin peel and flake and red and irritated. But this um, actually does not do that at all. Um, now, the vitamin D, I love this stuff. It smells so good. 
Oh, it smells so good. Um, it's kind of like a dry oil, so it's not super greasy, and all you need is just three drops. You can add it into your moisturizer if you want, or what I do is I just pat it right on top of the retinol serum. And this also has a little bit of retinol in it as well, but it has um, active vitamin D. So normally something with a vitamin D in it needs to be activated by the sun. Um, but, you know, it kind of defeats the whole purpose when you're trying to stay away from the sun to use a product that needs to be activated by the sun. So what Dr. Gross did was he found a way to create active vitamin D in a serum that is active without having to go out into the sun. So it kind of gives you that that healthy glow that the sun gives you without the harmful um, you know UV rays so I love that I sometimes I'll use it in the morning but usually if I'm wearing makeup I don't like to have that um, oily film on my skin so I'll use it mostly at night and I'll just press it just like two to three drops is all you need massage it in your hands and just kind of press it onto the skin and and then I put my moisturizer on and I love it and then the moisturizer I've been using is by Dennis, Dennis Gross. As you can see, I love Dennis Gross. I love his whole line. And it's a new moisturizer. It's um, called Ferulic and Retinol Fibroblast Anti-Aging Moisturizer. And I really was shopping around for a moisturizer. Everything was breaking me out. I was kind of feeling like I was never going to find anything. But... Um, I recently had my wisdom teeth out and I was out for 10 days. I had a really bad recovery, um, but I had just gotten samples of this moisturizer and I decided to just kind of take that time to try something new. And while I wasn't wearing any makeup, I was just in bed for those 10 days and my skin cleared right up and it looked amazing. So I decided to buy it and I've been loving it. I use this morning and night. Now it does have retinol in it and it does have other acids in it, so you do want to use an SPF during the day um, because it will make you more sensitive to sun exposure. But um, I love it. It's kind of like a gel-like texture, but it but it doesn't give you that like silicone-y like, gel feeling that kind of rolls off your skin that I hate about gel moisturizers. It really just sinks right in and makes you feel really hydrated. So I've been absolutely loving that. I think it just makes my skin just really even just really even looking. <laughs> the eye cream I'm using at the moment is um, by CeraVe and it's a new product to their line and it's the eye repair cream and I got it because um, the eye cream I was using previously had was giving me like little bumps around my eyes and not milia um, it was actually kind of like a rash like I was having an allergic reaction so whatever I was using was just a little too strong so I needed something um, you know that was not going to irritate my skin and but that was going to be hydrating enough and I looked up reviews um, on Makeup Alley for eye creams and this had like glowing reviews so I searched so many different drugstores to find it because it was new so not many people had it and um, it is really nice and I've been really liking it um, it has really simple but good ingredients in it helps to lighten dark circles it helps to just really hydrate and plump the eyes so um, it doesn't really have any anti-aging ingredients. It's mostly just for dark circles and hydration, which is kind of just all I wanted at the moment. And um, I really like it, and I would buy it again. And um, it's kind of, it's like a really thick balm, but it, it it's matte, so it sinks right in, and it doesn't interfere with your concealer or anything like that. So I use this day and night around my eye area. Now, as a treatment, I use my Dr. Gross peel pads. Now he's famous for these peel pads. They come in the original formula which I have here and they also have the extra strength formula which I use a lot as well. Um, I just kind of switch back and forth depending on what I feel like I need at the moment. I use these about every every third day of the week um, and I use them at night and what they do is they have a uh, glycolic acid and salicylic acid and lactic acid um, and it just helps to really slough off all the dead skin and just clear your pores and help with fine lines, wrinkles, unevenness of skin tone. These are just an amazing, amazing, amazing product. I recommend everybody. These are good for everybody. I, I really mean it. No matter what your skin issue is, these are amazing. Um, now it comes in step one, step two. You can get them in jars, but I prefer them in the packets because they're easy to take with you and travel. And I think they stay fresh this way. 
Um, so step one, you it, they come in like towelettes. You just kind of massage it all over your skin. And I do this right after I cleanse my skin before I put on any other product. And I wipe the towel all over. You might feel a little bit of tingling and burning the first couple times you use it. Nothing unbearable. Um, then you want, they say leave it two minutes. I usually try and leave it about ten minutes to kind of, you know, make sure I'm getting everything. And so I'll usually I'll brush my teeth, get ready for bed, put, you know, change into my pajamas and stuff. And then I'll come back and I'll do step two, which is the neutralizing towel. And that kind of stops the acids from, you know, continuing to eat away at your skin. And, um... And then I just move on to my serums. You don't have to wash anything off. Um, but yeah, I, I notice a huge difference when I use these pads. My, this whole routine, I love Dr. Gross. And, and I'm not paid to promote his products at all. I mean, I wish because I, I love his products so much. But honestly, I just, I've fallen in love. I think it's the best for my skin type. And I think it's actually great for so many different skin types. I mean, I work, you know, I work in, in cosmetic sales and I... Don't even work for his line, and I sell it a lot because I just truly believe in it. Another one of Dr. Gross's um, products is his Clarifying Colloidal Sulfur Mask. And this is good for if I feel really congested or if I have a few breakouts, you know, hormonally or what have you. Um, and I just use this, you know, as an as-needed basis, maybe once a week or once every two weeks. And um, I really like it. It's a clay-based mask, but it doesn't dry so hard and tight that you feel like you can't move your face. And then it's um, uh, it's like super hard to get off. It's not. It doesn't dry like that. And it does have sulfur in it, so it does have a little bit of that sulfury smell. But I mostly smell like tea tree oil and other things like that. So it's not. It's not really bad. I know I had a Ren, the Ren um, acne mask before. And it would smell really good when you put it on, and then after like three minutes, it smelled like rotten eggs. And even after you washed it off, you could still smell it. So this does not um, have that issue. And it has like that really hygienic pump where you just push the top and it comes out here so you don't have to keep dipping your fingers in it, and it keeps the product really fresh. So I like that. The other mask I use, now, I, I think I've mentioned this like 50 million times, um because I just love this mask so much and I'm almost due for a new one. It's the Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Full Strength Mask. Now I'll use this um, about once a week as well, sometimes before the acne mask, and it just is like a deeper peel than the peel pads. The peel pads are kind of like a maintenance, and then this is kind of like a real more intense peel. And I'm obsessed with peels. So yeah, that's my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if there's any products you think I might like, if you guys, you know, have used these products before or are curious about them, um, please let me know. Ask me anything. Tell me your stories. Anything. I love to hear from you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.